call me LJ. What's up, y'all? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, how are you doing? Fantastic. It's nice. good to see you. Nice to meet you. Saw you last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hanging out with some people we know. Mm-hmm. Um, why don't you tell me, you got you got the new uh, new album out? Yes. It's great. You know, we actually, it was relaxed. Uh, Sonny Mayo was there in the studio with us, which we thank him very much for being a part of that. Uh, for me, that album was very easy. Uh, that's because, you know, uh, we didn't have a record label behind us telling us you should sound like this or you should write about this. You know, it's just us like it's been for a while. And it was fun. We were in Georgia and uh, I was able to go home every day after the studio and be with my family. And, you know, that, I think that makes for a better um, writing process, too, after you've been away from home for so long. You know. What about the writing process? Is it something? Do you, uh, since you're a singer, mm-hmm. you know, I talk to a lot of singers. That they write all the lyrics, and no. sometimes they write all the music. Do you okay. do it as a band? Yeah, or we do it as a band. I think I, I, mean, I said it since the beginning of this band's uh, existence. Uh, I think it would be very foolish for everything to come from one person's point of view, because we're all men. And we've all grown up from these young men to grown men. And who am I to just let everyone just see only what I see when this guy's dealing with his things and this cat's dealing with his things and he has something to say and we all have voices and this is a band. It's not just one guy. And that's what's kept us together, I think, because that's the way we look at it. It's not, you know, it's it's not coming from one person. It's everyone has a voice. And I like it. It wouldn't be any other way. I would think it would be foolish, you know. I wouldn't feel right. I wouldn't be feel right if it was, you know, me, 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 you know what I mean? For this many years. It's like, well, what? We like that guy's guitar playing, but what the hell was... His what? life don't matter? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What What does he have to say, you know? I, I, maybe I saw him on Cribs, but what, you know what I mean? And so what Seven does, you get to see and, you know, you know that we all write and, you know, we write songs about each of our kids and, you know, you, you figure it out, you know, it might take you a minute, but you eventually know. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. You are fighting every day So what do I defend? I know you never said goodbye I had so much left to Conceptualize your videos? Or well, sometimes we have ideas and we help put in ideas. And, you know, Prodigal Son, you know, we uh, kind of help with the idea. And I never knew I was going to be acting in the video until the day of the shoot. Well, no, the night before. So Directors usually do that. Yeah, man. I was we like, man, I so thought, you have to think about it. All we thought we were going to do is just jam, you know, in the church. And they had me acting, and, you know, whatever. And I thought it was cool that they had a kid that portrayed me. You know, it was a little weird to see, but. I think it gets a point across that that that's something that happens to everyone, uh, you know, not necessarily every person, but someone definitely knows something. Relatable. Like story. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. and it's so true. So yeah, it was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And I always like doing videos when I'm an actor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And sorry if I have like pizza in my teeth. I just ate. <laughs> We're in Jacksonville, Florida. It's beautiful. I didn't get to stay here. I was at some damn resort down the street. And uh, so today I, I was able to be here, and this is, I love it, man. Freebirds in this place, I love it here. Yeah, it's, it's a good club. It's, oh, man, it's the whole area. Everyone's so beautiful, man. It's, it's great here. And you got a lot of friends over here. Yeah, a lot of friends, yeah. yeah. This, I'm so excited. You know, I'm just like this. It's, you know, normally, you know, you're, the show, you know, you, you get in the, the grind of it. And today it's just been like a vacation day. You know, it's, I know about the show still, but it's more of a, I don't know. It's more of a celebration today for me. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Any, a little, anything a little lighter? Any crazy road stories? Anything? Oh, man, there's always crazy road stories. I mean, I don't know. You, can name, you name it. What, from the bus catching the fire one night to while we're driving to, I mean, it's, I mean, I don't know. Like, so let's see. We just got back from Afghanistan. That was crazy. Okay. I mean, that was, we were touring there and uh, you're flying in the C-17 and you know, making a bomb landing, you know, like, and then wow. playing in the middle of the desert, in the Sharana Desert. I think I'm saying it right, Sharana? Yeah, Sharana, something like that. Uh, 
on a flatbed and it hadn't rained in three months and it rained the night that we played after we played mm -hmm. hey. and around 12 30 you could hear mortars going off <laughs> in the tent we were sleeping in was shaking shaking and there's no tv in here it's nothing but bunk beds right. and two sergeants with m16 and nine millimeters and the band and our tour manager and yeah it makes you think huh that you know what, man? I it, it gave me so much more respect for those. Just you know, I've always had respect for soldiers, but just for even being in, you know, just being in a situation like that, to where even if I tried to run, where would you go? Yeah. 